yeah, the first thing, the first my advice or tips that I will say is tithing. That's that's what I do. I give 10% of my income to the church, to God. It's just it's just one of the things I really started doing. I started doing it right away when I started working. So now it's just it's just so easy for me to do because I've been used to doing it for a long time. It's just it's it's now become my normal to always like set aside the ten percent of my income for God. I don't know, maybe it's faith, but I feel like because of tithing, uh, it it's just I don't know. It's it's hard to explain, but I feel like it comes back to me. But I'm not doing it because because of that because I I want it to come back to me. It's just because yeah, it's just faith. It's just something I believe in. I'm not saying that if you don't do it, it makes it makes you you are less of a person than I am. No, it's not. It's just different beliefs. So I still respect you if you don't want to do this. And then I do automated savings. So. Like I do this, so every month I have here in Canada we have a tax-free savings account, and and like automatically, I automatically uh, set up my account to put every Friday to put money on my tax-free savings account and my RSP. Like just because when you do that, then you're automatically saving money so you're not spending everything that you have like from your salary because like you already saved some so it's like mandatory it's like automatic you're just like saving it's like one it will be your priority and then now that i'm married uh i realized that doing your groceries and making home cooked meals and instead of eating out and buying food, food will like save you money too. I'm not saying you should totally quit eating out and buying takeouts. Like I think it's nice to do that every once in a while to have a break too. But yeah, like you will notice that like let's say uh, eating at Boston Pizza for like one night will cost you like a hundred dollars. That's like a week of grocery if it's just you and your husband or whatever so and then uh, I watched this tip before as well in a video and then they say that if if there's something let's say there's a sale or something you wanted to buy ask yourself first is this a want or a need so it means if if it's just it's something you need then you should probably buy it but if it's just something you want then maybe you can like just save that money well what i wrote here is yeah before buying something i always ask myself is this a want or a need if it's just a want and you don't really need it then you can skip buying it and save your money for rainy, rainy days like this pandemic we're experiencing right now saving might be boring but it really does help us in the long long run and like I'm a strong believer that it is true like I ever since I was young I started I learned how to save because my mom is a cheapskate like she wouldn't she really give me money or allowance or whatever so whenever I learn because of that whenever I have money I always try to keep it and before when I was younger I hated her so much for being like that but now I realize that it's a good thing because because of that I learned how to actually use my money wisely because I did like I grew up not having lots like compared to my other friends or whatever but yeah like now because I'm so used to saving it just I'm I feel more half happy when I save than when I spend money because like for example I'm just gonna give you an example um this example is like harder for guys like they say that it's not how much money you make and I agree it's true true it's how much money you keep and save 
and invest at the same time. So then, like, I'm gonna, this is my example. For example, you're earning a lot, like you have a good job and you're earning a lot, but like you're buying more material things, spending more than what you're actually earning. At the end of the day, it's not how much money you make, right? Because like, you're just spending it like all. And then what if one day you met the girl of your dreams and you're already in your right age and she's already in her right age too. And like, let's say you guys have been dating for like three years and you want to propose already, but you can't because you didn't save like, and, and it's hard to be in that situation. Cause what if like you guys have been dating for a long time and you guys are both ready to get married, but the problem is money because you didn't save. Like, so that's why I think that's why it's really important to always save for the future or even like make, if you already have a family like me, I think it's important to have an emergency fund where uh, if something like, like this happened, like today, like there's a pandemic. Oh, one more thing, my advice about credit cards, I think it's not a bad thing to actually borrow money, but for me, the perfect, the perfect reason of borrowing with borrowing money is like when, I don't know, when you're going to start a business or whatever, but I feel like, like me, based on my experience, I have two credit cards. Well, my one credit card the max is 10,000 and I have a credit line that's 15,000 and I know a lot of Filipinos are so addicted to like just swiping and just using their credit cards all the time but you know what at the end of the day like if you're just paying the interest and you're in so much debt because you're spending the money that's not really yours it's not it's gonna take a toll on you at the end of the day you're gonna be unhappy, you're gonna be in so much debt. So basically you're just, uh, you're borrowing money and you're paying the amount that you borrowed and you're not paying interest and you're building your credit score, which will be good for you at the end of the day if you're like buying a house, if you're buying a car, cause it means they will know that you're a good payer. So I think that's the best way of using your credit cards. The best way is like, using it and paying it right away just so you don't have to pay interest and then and then the good thing is it you are building your credit score so in like when there's emergency emer, emer, not emergency but yeah i guess when there's emergency you can use it or when you're like planning something big because you have built your credit score and it's good then it's gonna be easy for you to get a house to get a car but don't for me, just for me, don't overuse it. Like, if if you're just buying stuff that's not that's just wants and not really your needs, if you just keep paying interest and the amount, and you can't really pay the amount, then you're just like, they just keep asking you to pay more and more and more and more than the original amount you borrowed, and it's unfair. But they wouldn't care about that because. Sometimes all they care about is earning money from you, from us. So, yeah. And, and, I don't know, if it's just, yeah, if it's mostly material things that you don't really need, and you're, like, just maxing out all your credit cards, like, you know, at the end of the day, it's not gonna, it's not gonna be good for you. It's not gonna be good for, like, your your you your mental health your family everything because like oh if you're not earning as much as you're spending where are you gonna get money where are you gonna get money to pay all that debt it's just gonna be hard on you so just i don't believe in credit cards i think like when banks they are a business and credit cards is Credit cards is one of the way where they earn so much from us because like it, that's why also they keep bumping it up is like I believe that uh, I think it's it's really important to save and invest. I also started investing in the stock market when I started working and I think like 
this advice, sorry I'm saying like 1 million times, uh, it's a perfect time to buy stocks right now because the stock market is down because of the pandemic so it it kind of seems like everything will be on sale it's not good for like people like me who's already investing because all our shares are like low but again like the economy will jump right back up eventually because this crisis will end too so i think if if you are thinking of like starting to save and invest actually i think this is the perfect time to do it just because everything is cheap right now on the stock market because of what's happening to the world like because of this pandemic so yeah i believe that like saving is really really good for us in the long run like uh for me and my husband when we got married we got married last year ever since since he proposed to me we started putting money like every month and uh, yeah so like we spend we spend around uh, probably like twelve thousand dollars from our pocket well our parents helped us too but yeah we spend like twelve that around twelve thousand probably from our pockets and and it's nice like for me it's nice to Um, it's nice to have money when you have like like your wedding like big big event the whole wedding you can help too and it's and it's nice because now we're like we're more career oriented and we're all strong independent women right it's it's nice to like actually do something to and not just depend on the man my my wedding dress i was actually the one who bought it and like i feel good i you know i for me like a man is not a financial my husband is not someone that i just have to depend on financially because i feel like in this time of age i think we itch i don't know it's just or maybe it's just me i want to build my own too and I don't like I'm a strong independent woman I wanna you know I want to do some things that I can do and I I feel good about it and yeah so that's the good thing about saving it's like that instead of like borrowing money just to have because I know like in our culture in Filipino culture some people I'm not saying all but some people actually borrows money just to get married just you know like for big events but like for me you're you're getting married and you're gonna start off with this relationship with a debt with a big debt and I think it's not good because it's one of the things that like married couples fight about it's 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 money so i think it's nice if like to actually uh save for it even let's say even if you haven't met the right one for you yet because you don't know when it's gonna happen right so just save 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 when it happens even if you're like me like we split even if you're a girl it doesn't mean that he's the guy's the one who will spend for stuff that's working for me also like when you're married i don't know but with me and my husband we still have both like i still have my own account he still have his own account and uh we have but we have a joint account where we put money there we take turns putting money for our mortgage and then we also have a joint savings account where all our savings are there and what else yeah yeah so that's that's what that's what works for us and i hope uh this you actually learned something from this video thank you guys hope you guys are having a great day